Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys on how to install EFP correctly and reduce any future crashes that you might encounter. So the first thing we're going to do is join EFP Discord and reacting to the rules to gain access. Then we are going to go ahead and install Zip and Zip and depending on what bitrate your PC is running, you'll need to choose the correct one to install. The reason we're using Zip and Zip instead of WinRAR is because WinRAR usually fails to extract some files which then causes the game to miss some files and then crash crashes which will usually need a reinstall so we're gonna try to skip that anyways after that is done we are going to go ahead and install anomaly version 1.5.1 this install is going to take quite a bit of time but after that is done installing we are going to install mod organizer 2 and pick the fourth option then the last thing we are going to get is that g drive link we are going to go in select both files right click and press install Alright, after everything is done installing, including 7-zip, we are going to go ahead and select everything, press cut, and then we are going to make a folder in the root of your SSD or hard drive. This is a very important step, do not neglect on this one. Alright, we are going to name this folder EFP. After the folder has been created, we are going to be lazy and paste every single file in there. A few moments later. Alright, after everything is done, we are then going to extract the vanilla anomaly 1.5.1 using Zem and Zep. This is going to take quite a while, so we'll skip until it, it's done. Alright, after it's done, you can go ahead and delete the vanilla anomaly folder. Then you can go ahead and extract the EFP anomaly folder, open the archive with Zem and Zep, then simply drag and drop, and then when it asks you to overwrite, you overwrite. Alright, after that is done, we can go ahead and delete the EFP anomaly folder and then we can start downloading the mod organizer too. Open your MO2zip with 7zip and then after that, we will need to make a new folder called mod organizer 2 or just MO2 and then we are just gonna drag all of the contents over. Alright, after everything is done, like before, we can go ahead and delete MO2 file and then simply we are going to open up EFP mod folder with 7zip then simply just drag and drop every single folder into the MO2 folder that you've made Alright, now we can go ahead and launch vanilla anomaly without mod at least once You can just open it and close it, it doesn't really matter Now then, we are going to go ahead and open up MO2 folder, then open up your MO2 application file, run as admin. Alright, press next, and then we are going to go ahead and select a portable instance, press browse, and then we are going to find the EFP folder that we have made, and then we are going to press select folder. Alright, after everything is done, we are first going to be selecting the correct profile, which is going to be EFP 3.0. After that, we are going to scroll down a bit and look for Warfare. If you're interested in playing Warfare mode, we are going to select both options. But we are going to be disabling NPC loot clan as the current version, it kind of fucks up your game from time to time, so I recommend just playing without it for now. Alright, before we do anything else, uh, we are first going to go back into the EFP Discord and we are going to go into the new hotfixes. We are then going to install the newest hotfix and after that we are going to need to open it with 7-zip again. And uh, basically we're just gonna drag and drop it into the MO2 folder and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just how easy it is to install hotfixes. Now for the last step, you are simply going to be moving the MO2 file outside of your EFP folder. You can just put it inside the root folder like I am. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you basically just run the game and just make sure that you are running 16x9 or 21x9. If you are running 21x9, then you will need to go inside the troubleshoot channel or one of the support channel and ask for help if you are crashing or if your stuff is stretching out of the inventory.
But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.